Cool, so, ich habe etwas geschrieben hier für ein bisschen Sachen, aber ich mache es nicht in Deutsch, tut mir leid. So, we're going to go in English. Woo! Then it works. I don't know how many people here don't speak German. <laughs> so you didn't understand anything I just said. Okay, cool, right, we'll, I'll cover all this. Yeah, you. Yeah, I know you speak German. Right, okay, so first things first. Uh, thank you for coming. My name's Alex. I do a lot of fire safety with the fire space team and uh, fire camp. Uh, I wanted to start with why we bother doing all the fire safety and the safe dipping and the efficient dipping practices. Uh, firstly, it's to protect each other, because fire does burn. Don't do that. It is very dangerous. Uh, I did it, it at home. <laughs> Secondly, uh, it's to protect the environment. As uh, Jackie was saying, like lamp oil spreads everywhere. It's got a really nasty habit of going everywhere it shouldn't. So we have to do a lot to make sure that it does the two things it should be doing, which is either staying in the pot or burning on the tool. Yeah, dripping all over the floor and all over the, this area, it's just, it's nasty. It gets the plants and it kills them, and it's slippery and, uh, yeah, really unhealthy. So that's really simple. Um, so it's also really important that we keep safe practices and good dipping procedure, because it means that when officials come, we can show that we're not a bunch of hippies in a park, responsible individuals, adults. Yeah. Yeah, well, they don't have to know that. You know, we have to show them otherwise. Yeah. <laughs> Cool, so next point. Um, so really important, uh, most people don't think it is, but the thing about um, synthetic and natural fibers, what clothes you wear. Really try to make sure you're wearing like natural fibers, cotton, wools, silk if you can afford it and it's a good weave. <laughs> but the synthetic fibers, the reason we ask this is because when synthetic fibers burn the, the plastics and the viscosa, it melts on your skin. It burns faster, it doesn't go out on its own, and it melts into your skin. Try and get that out. It's not fun. Animal fiber is also not so Yeah, it's not so nice, but it's, it's an improvement. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it burns quite rapidly. <laughs> yeah, but it burns rapidly. But anyway, so just try and make sure you've got a thick weave. A thick weave cotton is really good, very simple, and we can make can save your ass in the future. You just It doesn't happen very often, but when it does, you want to make sure you're safe with that. Cool. So, um, then we go on to dipping procedure. Who here knows the, who here knows the Phoenix dipping procedure? Hey. Cool. Less than half. Excellent. Good. So it's really simple. I can't really do it while holding this thing up, so can I ask for a volunteer from the audience? Thank you. Perfect. Cool. You are now my light. So, uh, first thing I need is a tool. I haven't got any tools. I haven't got a tool. I got a tool. There we go. Sweet. Something like that. Yeah? Easy peasy. So, the general aim is to make sure that all the drops stay in the jar or burn on the prop. Keep that in mind whenever you're doing anything. If it's dripping and you pull it over here and it's dripping down, you're doing it wrong. Simple, yeah? Cool, so what we do is with these things, you grab first, before you start dipping, you grab a spin jar, yeah? Something that you know this can fit inside, okay? Good to go one point at a time because we don't have very many big spin jars, so just start with one and then do the second one afterwards, yeah? Then what you do is you have this prepared, you dip this in here, now, I want to clear out some uh, myths of dipping. Uh, you do not need to dip it for a minute. This is a load of nonsense. Whoever told you that was, had no idea what they were talking about. Five seconds is more than enough for nearly everything. Yeah, for nearly all wig sizes. So you just dip it in, make sure it's soaked. Let the drips come off. You see it's all dripping like this? Whoa. Can we have another light source over here? Like, yeah? <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna be yeah. that's all. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> then you make sure that the shake up can is over the he dipping station. <laughs> Put the thing in there. Right, so you have it like that. Then it drips in the jar. Then you want to do is raise it a little bit off the bottom. If it's touching the bottom, then you end up just re-soaking it with what you spin out, okay? Then you want to wrap the, the, um, the cord around your finger in a way that it's, that it's fest, it's tight, safe. And then you come over to our very advanced spin-off station over here, okay? <laughs> Now with a small spin-off station, the best thing to do is a really quick circle and finishing on the bottom swing. And that looks like this. Yeah. Yeah, you've got to be really precise and careful. You want to make sure you're finishing on the bottom swing so it doesn't slow over. If you stop halfway, you know exactly what's going to happen, right? No point, no fun. Cool. So just make sure that all the force comes at the bottom. So you're pushing all the liquid out. Three or four swings normally does it, and then what you see happens, you come here, a little bit of light, and you have a few drops coming out. That was stuff that was gonna go on the floor. When you have 40 to 50 people having 
five to ten burns each for a whole night, that adds up to several litres. That would just be on the floor or wasted money or you know, in a plant or on you. Whatever you like. So, then you have a dip prop. It's a good idea to wait a good like 10, 20 seconds, 30 seconds before going out uh, to let it cool down, especially if you've just been playing. You can leave it on the tool stand if you want to, that's okay. Just make sure it's not touching anything that's not another Kevlar head. And then, uh, and then yeah, you can go play. Very simple. Cool. Let me go check my notes because I don't know what I'm doing now. Good. Right, okay, cool then. There's also, we have a couple of gloves. I've left them in there, unfortunately. We have a couple of gloves. So if you have tools like fans or dragons, they can be a bit awkward. I see already we've got more dragons here than anything else. <laughs> this is happening more and more. We need special tool stands for these. Yeah. <laughs> so how this works is if you've got an awkward prop that doesn't fit in a spin jar, then you come, you do your dipping, and then you can squeeze it with the, with the, jar, with the, with the glove, okay? It's often good to get a hand here. Someone might need to hold your prop, you know? It's always good getting someone to hold your stick or ball. Good way to meet people. Fuck Tinder. Uh, and then you're ready to go. Simple as. So, that's that, that, that. So now what I'd like to quickly go over is quick dipping. Who knows, who doesn't know what quick dipping is? Good, right, sweet. What's that got to do with drugs? So, where's my call? So, uh, just as a disclaimer, I only quick dip. Yeah, but you've got to be careful about the quick dipping. Yeah? You got to make sure it's super fast. It's like a second, literally one and in out. You want to do it as fast as you can without splashing it. So it's its, its own flow art. The quick dip is its own flow art. Now, if you do a quick dip while the prop is cold, you've got to be very careful because it's actually got a negative alpha, which is fancy words for meaning it absorbs faster when it's cold. So you have to do an extra quick dip if you're doing it on a cold one. So just be really careful. It's often a better idea to just do a full dip, use a spin jar for your first burn. And then when you come off and you have a hot tool, click, click, you can do a quick dip and it cools the Kevlar down, gives you a much longer lifetime of your props. And um, yeah, it's much safer because you haven't got a hot thing waving around in the darkness where no one can see it. And you're ready to go straight away. <laughs> So another point with the quick dipping. Quick dipping only works when the can is at least half full or relatively full. If it's very empty and there's only this much in it and you quick dip, it could heat the, the lamp oil past its flash point and then it spontaneously combusts. It's great fun. What's the flash point? Huh? <laughs> What's the flash point? 62 degrees Celsius. Mmm, good, good. It depends on the lamp what's, oil. What's that in Fahrenheit? <laughs> so, this is a quick demonstration. And then Kelvin. Yeah. Quick dip, that fast, easy peasy, it's ready to go. And uh, don't breathe this white shit coming out of the head. Yeah, it won't that's get you really, stuck. That's really poisonous. Uh, it's not what you want. Okay, cool. <coughs> so, that is a lot of this. As you can see, it will smoke a lot over here once you quick dip it and put it down. So we've got some nice oil. So um, be careful around this area in general. Um, but do keep an eye out over here. Make sure there's no weird people hanging around our tools. That's the idea. It's, they're all responsible for looking out for it. Right? Except for us. Okay, cool. <laughs> Which also means don't go sit down between the people with smoking tools. Cool. Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, a couple of points of note with the dipping. Just because it's not dripping when you take it out of the pot, when it, if it stops dripping, that doesn't necessarily mean it's good to go. Because what happens is when it heats up, the, uh, the oil expands and then it can start dripping at that point, which means that when you go out to play, it can start dripping when it wasn't before. So when you start playing, always be mindful, always pay attention and go slow. If it is dripping, play very, 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 very slowly. And then it should be okay. If it's dripping a lot, put it out. Simple. Uh, and then we then let it cool and then relight it later. Uh, another thing is we'd rather, we'd like you to ask no burn-offs, please. Uh, so burn-offs is when you do a big explosion, because what happens if you're doing that, Loads of the oil goes all over the floor, it becomes slippy, and it's a health hazard, and it's just a nightmare. It's not very fun. It defeats the whole point of good dipping practice, if you're spraying oil everywhere. What if we bother shredding with that? Well, then you just have to um, be good in another way. Okay. Yeah. Flashy fire spins. <laughs> you give it, jugglers, uh, give us a bad name because of this stuff. Okay, uh, what else have we got here? Cool. So, Everybody look out for everybody. We don't have any safety stations set up. So can we, we've just asked that all experienced people who know what they're doing 
to kind of stay closer and keep an eye on the players. It's good to have a few people over there as well. Um, just if you're in the front, keep an extra mind out. If you see someone burning, if someone catches a bit of clothes on fire or a bit of hair on fire, just come up to them, shout stop, stop, don't run on the space, but shout stop very clearly, make eye contact, show them where it is that the fire is. If it's quite big, grab one of the, the, the Lushdeco, one of the, the, the dowsing blankets, and head up to them. Make sure they've made eye contact, they know you're coming. Very important. If you run up to someone and they don't know you're coming, you get slapped in the face by a giant stick. Oh. Sometimes I like that, but it's not Saturday night. So. <laughs> Um, putting out a prop. So to put out the props in the in the blankets, it's actually a simple process of trying to stop the oxygen from getting in at it. So when you're putting your prop down, I'll grab one of those six. So if you put it, it's really weird without light, I would go. So you put it down, lay it down, try and stand upwind. If you can, got time. Oh, dang it! Yeah. <laughs> so you lay it down on the blanket. Try and stay upwind if you can, because a lot of smoke comes out afterwards. You want to cover it over and suffocate it. Yeah. You see, so that there's no air getting in. That's how you put the fire out. Don't put your hands on this, because it could be really hot. <laughs> it is on fire. And then you'll re you'll recognise that it's gone out because lots of smoke starts puffing out as, as extremely. And when you pull it off, that smoke comes in your face. So it's always a good idea to take a deep breath before you start this process. Wait till you're free and then breathe again. Huh? Um, Show it with a burning tool. Huh? Show it with a burning tool. Show it with a burning tool, cool. I'm not sure how quickly this is going to light up, but let's do it. Uh, what's my foil? Can you give me foil shy? It's the other stick. Quick if one would like fast, I should have picked that one up. Yeah. The oil we have seems to be a slow starting oil, so um, until you've had your first burn, it could take a while to get it lit up. Also, not the middle of summer anymore. Really. Yeah. Okay, cool. Burning prop. Uh huh. Is it Is it dripping? Is it dripping? See, that was badly oh, no. Who did that? Oh. Who did that? <laughs> <laughs> So, it's oh, dripping, it's, it's dripping. So what do you do? You go to the lush deck and go, oh, I need to put it out. Okay, cool. Down, over, suffocate. You see a bit of smoke coming out there? <laughs> that went away. Good. So that was dip dripping, so it definitely doesn't need quick dipping. Uh, so you want to be careful with it, make sure it's not dripping at the moment, and then go store it for a bit. The heat will tend to like evaporate some of the oil, and it'll be safe to play in, uh, yeah, it should be safe to play in a few minutes. In the event you do that. So, Pablo's Alice, yeah? Mm -hmm. uh, are there any questions? Can we start now? Yes! <laughs> What's your number? My number? 666. Six, six. <laughs> <laughs> seven, seven. <laughs> Very lucky, yeah. Um, Alex. Cool, Alex. so, yeah? Is the place clean?